The major components of the Autopulse system are the Autopulse platform, commonly called the board, the life band, load distributing band, the battery and battery charger. Key accessories for transporting the Autopulse are the carry case for EMS and transporter IV pole type device for the hospital. First, let's take a closer look at the key features of the Autopulse platform. At the head end of the board is the on-off button. The on-off button is recessed and set away from the user control panel to minimize the risk of inadvertently turning the device off. The user control panel is located here. The user control panel includes the user display, which is an LCD screen on which instructions and other information are shown. The light-dark contrast for the screen can be adjusted with these contrast buttons. The green power LED is lit whenever the autopulse is powered on and able to respond to user input. The red alert LED makes the user aware of a condition that requires attention. When the red alert LED is lit, further information and instructions are shown on the user display. The current compression mode is shown on the upper left hand corner of the user display. In this case, the autopulse is set for a compression to ventilation ratio of 30 to 2, in keeping with current guidelines. At the bottom of the user control panel are the green go and orange stop buttons, which are integral to the operation of the device. This is the mute button. Once pressed, the mute button disables all audio alert tones except for the low battery warning, ventilation tones, and pause alert tones. Low battery, ventilation, and pause alert tones cannot be turned off but they can be muted for 30 seconds using the mute button. Pressing the mute button again re-enables all tones. This gray menu button allows the user to review information pertaining to the last patient as well as the platform and battery. This is the battery charge icon. When the battery charge icon has four bars, the battery is fully charged. Three bars means there is two-thirds of the battery life left. Two bars means there is one-third remaining, and one bar means that there is approximately five minutes left of operating time, and that the battery should be changed as soon as possible. This yellow line is a guide for patient alignment. The bottom of the armpits should be aligned on the yellow line. This black bar, often referred to as the load cell, is a key component of the compression monitoring system. The load cell initially senses a patient on the autopulse platform. During patient sizing, the compression monitoring system automatically calculates the chest size, shape, and resistance, then determines the force necessary to compress the chest the prescribed amount. This ensures the autopulse performs a 20% anterior to posterior sternal compression. During active autopulse operation, this system continuously monitors the compressions and makes adjustments as necessary. The compression monitoring system is also one of the many safety features of the autopulse. When the system senses something is wrong, it stops operation of the device and alerts the user. We'll cover this in more detail in a later section. There are two vents on the back of the autopulse, located here and here. It is important to make sure that the vents do not get blocked with clothing or bedding. Although the autopulse can work in the rain and other wet environments, do not allow the autopulse to be submerged in water. Consider it water resistant, but not waterproof.